you cannot fail in this life. You will not fail in this life. Your children will not fail in this life. Your generation will not fail in this life. That is the greatest of all prayers. Perception. Once you know these things, you will not become what God designed you to be. You know, in the book of Hosea chapter 4 verse 6, the Bible says something powerful about God. It made me understand how God sees us when we believe of ourselves less than what God designed us to be. He said, for my people lack knowledge. He said, my people perish because what? Because of the lack of knowledge. Then he went further. He said, because you have rejected knowledge, I have also rejected you as a priest. As my priest. What is that knowledge? They that know their God shall be strong. They shall do exploit. They that know their God shall be above. They shall not be beneath. They that know their God shall overcome. He said, behold, this is the victory that overcomes. Even by faith, you are an overcomer. You are an overcomer. In Hebrews chapter 11, 33, the Bible says, Who through faith subdue nations, enforce justice, obtain promises, shut the mouths of lions. That's what God has designed you to be. In the book of Psalms chapter 2, verse 8, the Bible says something. He said, This day, my son, have I begotten thee. He said, Ask of me, I will give you the hidden one inheritance. And the outermost part of the earth for a possession. See, God has designed you to overcome. In the book of Genesis, chapter 1, 26 to 28, he says, subdue it. He said, replenish it. He said, multiply it. He said, be fruitful on it. All these things are jam-packed in the inside of you, child of God. You cannot be less than that. I said perception this morning is broken. Every negative perception is destroyed. Every negative perception is destroyed. Wherever you are, begin to share. Begin to share with your friends. Begin to share on your social media platforms. Begin to share everywhere. This morning, put your hand on your head. In the name of Jesus, every negative perception in my life, I break that power. I break that power. In my children, I break that power. In my life, I break that power. In the life of my brothers, I break that power. One time, I was in Germany, in Dortmund, in Germany one time. And I went into a coffee shop. And I was sipping coffee in that coffee shop. While I was sipping coffee in the coffee shop, I saw an African in the streets of Dortmund. He was just passing in the streets. And that African had to stop and look at me in the shop. And then I asked one of the people that I was sitting with in that shop. And I said, why is that person staring at me like that? He said, because it's not common. It's not common to see an African, in, especially in Germany, at this peak of the day, which is the time working hour, in a coffee shop sipping coffee. Generally, at this time, they had work. And generally, they don't even spend their money like that in coffee shops. I said, see, that's a perception. That's a perception. I came back to America, and I discovered that the Africans in America don't have that perception. They walk into shops. They shop at any time. It's a perception. You know, it's a perception. We must come out of that perception. You must come out of that perception. God never designed you to be less than any man. As long as they have flesh and blood in them like you, you are equal. You are equal. See, the book of Corinthians, I love scriptures. That's why I spend most of my time on scriptures. In the book of 1 Corinthians 3, I think 1 Corinthians 3 verse 16, something like that. It, talks, it says something very powerful. It says, let no man glory in man. For all things are yours. It says, let no man glory in any man. Then he goes further, he talks about Paul, Cyphers, Apollos. He said, don't glory in any of these things. In life or death. He said, glory not in all these things. Because, because you have all things. That's my perception. In Christ, I have all things. In the book of Hebrews, I think 13 verse 6. He said, I will boldly say the Lord is my helper. Therefore, I will fear not what any man can do to me. Understand this truth. You are designed for greatness. Agabra kutabashaka. Rekutaka. This morning in the name of Jesus, I wash that negative mindset with the blood of Jesus. I wash that negative perception of myself with the blood of Jesus. Manto rapakata. The Bible says, if any man be in Christ Jesus, some of you is the perception of condemnation. The consequences, perception of condemnation. Because of the wrongs you have done in the past, it has limited you from becoming what God has designed you to become. That was the case with Moses. 
Moses said, can God still use a man like me? I killed somebody, I buried in the sand. I am a murderer, can God use a man like me? God, God did not even remember that. The Bible says God did not even remember that about Moses. See, the way God sees you sometimes is not the way you even see yourself. Sometimes the wrongs you have done in the past that are limiting you from going to the next steps in your life. Some of those things, God is not even in the archives of God. God has forgiven you. God has forgiven you. God has restored you. Child of God, don't live in your yesterday. That's why a windshield, if you look at a car, you discover that the windshield is bigger than the side mirrors. Because your future is brighter, is bigger. You need more vision for your future than your past. Child of God, in the name of Jesus, every perception, every limitation from a past consequence, every limitation from a past occurrence, this morning, in the name of Jesus, let that be broken from my mind. Let that be broken from my life. Let that be broken from my children. Let that be broken from my household. In the name of Jesus, every negativity in the past, man talk abracata, every negative experience in the past, it doesn't define your future. It doesn't have your future. God has your future. I break you loose this morning from that negative perception. I break you this morning, man talk abracata, from that negative past thought. In the name of Jesus, you are coming out. You are coming out. You are coming out. It has limited your productivity. It has limited your capacity. It has limited your going forth. Yesterday is gone. Tomorrow is new. You have today with you. A great every yesterday's experience is expired every yesterday's failure is expired every yesterday's failure is expired Sets you free. Jesus 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 sets you free. Marco Patayata. Jiketa Bracata. Every limitation by perception. Every limitation by past experiences. Maka Baracata. Be broken this morning. Be broken this morning. Be broken this morning. Be broken this morning. Agabarata. Zapata Caparata. Jekete Caparata. It is broken from your life. It is broken from your life. It is broken from your life. In the name of Jesus. Begin to share, child of God. Begin to share. Begin to share. Every negative perception. Agabatu rapandiata, eke te breka tu sapanda, liko takabrako tapa. It is broken, make te breketa. It is broken, lika tabrakata. It is broken, agadi bapari anonta. It is broken. I say, walk into God's divine plan for your life, child of God. You cannot be limited. You cannot be limited. You cannot be limited. Number two is the limitation of reassurance. The limitations of reassurance. Some of you, God has spoken to you. Some of you know what you have to do. But sometimes you are consistently looking for reassurance. That was something that Gideon suffered from. Gideon suffered from that reassurance. He consistently wanted reassurance from God. Not every case God will give you a reassurance. In the book of Psalm 65, 62 verse 11, in Psalm 62 verse 11, it says, once God has spoken, twice have I heard that power belongs to God. God expects that when he speaks once, you hear twice. The majority of the time, we want God to speak twice for us to hear once. That's an error. 
Once God has spoken, twice have I heard. It means when God says it one time, it's enough. When God declares it one time, it's enough. God wants you to be that kind of a child. That when you understand what God has said concerning you, that's enough. You know that was the difference between Gideon and David. David understood that. In fact, when you read the book of uh, 1, Samuel, uh, 1 Samuel 17, 1 Samuel 17, I think verse 47, 48. 1 Samuel 17. Seventeen, I think there is yes, thirty-seven. First Samuel seventeen, thirty-seven. David began to say something powerful before God. He said, "That same God who delivered me from the bear, from the lion, He will deliver me from this uncircumcised Philistine." God did not. David did not need God to come down again and tell him that David, go, you will conquer this Philistine. No, David did not need that. David already knew that that same God who did that miracle for me in the past, that same God. That brought me through. That same God is more than able to take me through what I'm going through right now. You see, that is the greatest strength of a believer. 